I wanted to share with you real quick an exercise that you can use for basic navigation skills. It's something that I use out here at the Pathfinder School to help people understand things like lateral drift, pace counting, and to kind of verify what they have learned. And I call this the Xbox exercise. What you're going to do is all you really need is a compass, a set of pacing beads, and some type of markers, about four of them. You could use a small soccer cone, you could use a stake that you've painted the top of orange, you could use flagging tape on stakes, you could use bandanas, shemogs, whatever you want to use, but you don't want to make it too utterly obvious because you're going to keep this close to the ground. All right? Here's what you're going to do. You're going to start off by picking a start point. So let's say it's here. And I'll tell you how I do this at the school out here at the Pathfinder School because I do, I throw a little thing in there on purpose. But you're going to take an azimuth and you're going to walk it 100 meters. So whatever your pace count is for that 100 meters, you're going to walk 100 meters and you're going to have a stake in the ground here and a stake in the ground here. Again, you don't want this thing too high. You don't want it obvious. You want it pretty low. So you pace count that azimuth to 100 meters. And now you're going to Take your compass, just like you were boxing an object, and you're going to do a 90 degree turn, an exact 90 degrees on your compass, and you're going to go another 100 meters, and you're going to stick a stake in the ground. I do this at the Pathfinder School so that this is flat ground, this is flat ground, this is uphill, and this is downhill. You'll see why I do that in a minute. Then you're going to take another 90 degree bearing, going the other direction, Again, like boxing an object, and walk 100 meters and make another tag. At that point, you should be able to do one more 90. And if you walk 100 meters by your pace count and your azimuths are correct, you should land at your very first point. So that's part one. Now's where things get complicated. Now we're going to start from right here and we're going to Take the azimuth that was right here, and we would have written this down as we went, and we're going to move our compass exactly 45 degrees from that azimuth, which is going to put us on an azimuth here. And we're going to start walking, and understanding approximate distances will help us, number one, not to overshoot an object. It will give us kind of a backstop that's not there if we have some kind of a distance. And to figure out this distance approximately, you can take one leg, which is 100 meters, and you can times it by 1.414. It's almost 1.5 if you round it off. So you're talking about 150 meters-ish. So if I start walking this azimuth line and I pace count past 150 meters, I probably missed the mark. But that's going to tell me Number one, how accurate I am at taking bearings, how accurate my pace counting is, and also it's going to check my lateral drift in more ways than one. It's going to check your lateral drift even on flat ground, but if now this was uphill and this is downhill, that means you're walking side hill. That's really going to jack up your lateral drift. So now you're really going to have to follow your compass, otherwise you're going to end up drifting downhill. All right? If you did that the opposite direction, you end up drifting downhill. Now, the next thing to do is take this, when you get to this point and you find it, figure out your reverse azimuth, take the amount of paces that you counted here and divide that X by two, and that will give you the length here in paces. Dividing it by two will give you the halfway point of, the, uh, of this box. At that point, you should be able to go back halfway and stop, turn 90 degrees and shoot an azimuth this direction or this direction, and go half the amount of paces again, and you should hit this or this with no lateral drift. And that's why I call this the X box. You can run that a lot of different ways to check both your quality of the azimuth that you're shooting, your pace counting, as well as your lateral drift. 
and it doesn't have to be real far. 100 meters is really far enough. 200 meters would be better, but most people don't have that kind of room. But even a city park or a ball field, um, an open field of some kind at a school, anything like that, you can do an exercise like this with your friends, with your family, or by yourself to do a lot of verification of how well you do with this compass if you don't have a map.